So what exactly does Air Force Material Command do for the Air Force anyway? We could start by saying we're a command of more than 87,000 strong, with lots of really smart people who do really important things. But that doesn't begin to tell the story of AFMC. From uniforms, to runways, to aircraft, to nuclear weapons, the food our airmen eat, to the tools our airmen use, the AFMC mission impacts everything the Air Force does. Our mission is to develop, deliver, support, and sustain war-winning capabilities for our warfighters. That means we investigate and develop new technology, make that technology work for the warfighter, buy it, maintain it, and make sure it continues to work through upgrades and maintenance. We do this to make sure our Air Force continues to be the most lethal air, space, and cyber force the world has ever known. AFMC airmen have their hand in every Air Force mission. Now how does one command manage to touch every Air Force mission? Say hello to our workforce. Over 87,000 patriots around the globe. AFMC airmen are everywhere. We are made up of six centers responsible for research and development, acquisition, testing, maintenance, sustainment, and daily mission support for our conventional and nuclear weapons systems. We build and maintain installations across the globe. We retire worn out weapon systems. And we preserve the stories and heritage of our Air Force for future generations. From inception to retirement, AFMC does it all. And our nation is counting on us to do it all. Let's try to break this down a bit. Think about your car. When you drove it off the lot, did you think about the designers who created the cutting edge vehicle? The engineers who made sure the radio doesn't turn on the windshield wipers? Probably not. But in reality, that's exactly what AFMC does. When our warfighters need a new weapon system, we come up with a concept, an idea. We work with all six of our centers towards a common goal of delivering what our Air Force needs to fly, fight, and win today and in the future. Now let's take a quick look at what these centers do to make things happen for AFMC. First up are the scientists, engineers, the idea people. These airmen find, develop, and deliver new military technologies. Reimagining what's possible to create innovative new capabilities for our military. What are we talking about? How about metals and ceramics for engines? to withstand the extreme heat and high pressure environments for hypersonic speeds. Our new stretchable liquid metal systems can conduct energy regardless of shape or strain. Our high powered electromagnetic system can strategically defeat swarming drones in an instant. And we're developing high speed weapons to keep our enemies at bay in contested environments. AFRL pushes the boundaries of what's possible for air and space. The airmen of the Air Force Life Cycle Management Center are the shoppers for the command. They play a key role in finding solutions that get technology in our warfighters' hands as fast as possible. Our Life Cycle Management Center teams work with mission partners and contractors to create solutions for Air Force weapons and systems from beginning to retirement, ensuring our warfighters have the competitive advantage. If airmen fly it, fuel it, transport it, drive it, wear it, eat it, communicate with it, or drop it on targets, our AFLCMC airmen provide it. They have developed and managed the most powerful air force on the planet. So let's circle back to your new car. Let's say you're driving down the road and you turn on your radio, expecting your favorite tunes. Instead, your blinker turns on. Now, imagine that lack of detailed engineering in a lethal weapon system. We have to make sure our systems work right. Our Air Force Test Center methodically checks out each system the Life Cycle Management Center buys to eliminate problems and issues before a system reaches a warfighter's hands and make sure the taxpayer got what they paid for. They test the limits of our new systems so operators stay safe. They broke the sound barrier in 1947 and they continue to take appropriate risks 
to ensure airmen come home safe from the fight. Once a system is placed into action, it needs to be maintained. Just like you should take your car to the mechanic for routine maintenance, our Air Force weapon systems need periodic servicing and updates to stay in action. That's the role of our teams at the Air Force Sustainment Center. Through our depots located across the U.S., our skilled maintainers and craftsmen provide world-class maintenance and supply chain management, leveraging cutting-edge systems to predict future failures print parts with 3D printers, and reverse engineer parts to ensure our platforms retain the cutting edge for the warfighter. Our AFSC teams are mechanics. Keep our aircraft and systems as ready as possible for our airmen across the globe. AFMC is also responsible for ensuring our nation's nuclear deterrent is never doubted and always feared. Our Nuclear Weapons Center airmen synchronize all aspects of nuclear material management for our nation. From developing next generation capabilities to supporting development and testing of nuclear weapons for our Air Force and sustaining current capabilities for decades to come. While the other centers are focusing on systems and platforms, our Air Force Installation and Mission Support Center is hard at work ensuring installations and support structures exist for our airmen and the systems they bring to the fight. Just as you will need a place to drive and park your car, AFIMSE ensures airmen have the infrastructure they need too. Much like a city works department maintains and repairs roads, AFIMSE oversees the development and maintenance of buildings, housing, roads, and airfields. They manage the policemen, landscapers, and construction workers for bases. They ensure we have the right gas in our vehicles and fuel in our airmen through our dining facilities and healthy eating initiatives. The Installation and Mission Support Center shapes the foundation of America's air, space, and cyber power and ensures our bases can project air and space power anywhere in the world. Air Force systems cannot operate indefinitely. And part of our mission at AFMC is to plan for and retire our aircraft and systems at the end of their operational life. Much like when your car reaches 150,000 miles, you must decide what is next. You will likely seek to buy a new vehicle, but what happens to the old one? It's retired and often used for parts. The Aircraft Maintenance and Regeneration Group, also part of the Sustainment Center, is responsible for the long-term storage of more than 4,000 retired aircraft. We can resurrect whole aircraft or use their parts to repair and maintain operational aircraft. Finally, we have the honor of preserving our Air and Space Force heritage at the National Museum of the Air Force. We keep more than 135,000 Air Force artifacts and stories to educate future generations on the history and importance of air and space power. It's located in Dayton, Ohio, and it's the oldest and largest military aviation museum in the world. From concept through design, operational use to final rest, there is not a platform, system, or product that hasn't been touched by an AFMC airman. We think our job is pretty important. Actually, we are the most important command to ensure our nation stays one step ahead of our adversaries, to deter future wars, and if deterrence fails, to win. We are one AFMC, powering the world's greatest air force.